I might just, I might do an intro there. Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Now, I know you lot are a nosy bunch, so this week we're going to take you on a tour of a successful machine shop just outside the heart of London. Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. We're in a rather noisy machine shop, aren't we, Mark? Very busy a, machine shop. It's a busy but noisy, but that's a good thing. Um, we're going to take you on a little tour, find out about Mark, his business, and how they have doubled your turnover in the last couple of years, which is incredible. So let's go in that direction. Mark, how have you doubled your turnover? Uh, basically <laughs> by providing what's, what our customers need. So when we moved here two years ago, uh, it enabled us to be able to be far more flexible for customer requirement, uh, to grow with our customers' need, to be able to bid for more work uh, on larger batch things, and also to put in some unique um, supply chain options and things like that as well, and actually tailor what we're making on our machines to what our customers require. And you've really scaled up this business in the last couple of years as well, haven't you? And by doing yeah. that, and we'll give you some reasons why, maybe like PSL data tracks helped a little bit, um, but we'll give you some like secrets as we go round. But there's something interesting you need to see. This I have never seen before. So what is this over here? Uh, so yeah, we had a customer that uh, needed us to pr provide 2,000 two uh, parts a month um, for them. And we couldn't do it the way we were doing it before, which was manually feeding the job. Um, and so it was too big for our largest bar capacity of 65 mil. It runs out of three inch. So, we ended up investing in and developing our own cobot solution, our own automated solution. So effectively, what we've done is we've made a, a unique stacker system, as we got here, and then we can then the, the cobot. We just bought the cobot, did all the integration ourselves, uh, loads and unloads the products because we can't have any damage on the products as well, uh, and it can, means it can run now 24/7 unmanned. That's, I mean, I, and engineers, this is the perfect opportunity. Engineers engineering their automation systems to better their business. Absolutely, yes. Uh, it was one of the things that we looked at. We looked at other options on the market and either the payback time on, on, on the uh, product would not run long enough on the product project itself um, or wasn't exactly what we, we knew we wanted. And again, space was quite limited as well. We needed a very compact solution. And so we, in-house, decided to design and develop this, and it's worked out really well for us. Right, fantastic. So let's look at the system over here as well, then, the okay. PSL data track. Okay, let's go. So what's interesting is the fact that you've had this system for the last four years or so, yeah, but it's correct. scaled with you. It has, yeah. So it's gone from when I ran the business by myself, and now we've got a team of administrators uh, working behind the scenes to push through the work, and it's grown with the business and enabled our business to grow. So um, before we see some of the other machines, PSL day track, for others that don't know, what does it do for you and your business? Uh, it just pulls everything together for us. So from initial inquiry, be it from an existing or a new customer, right away through to running the job, scheduling it, doing the traceability required for that customer, right way through then to uh, delivery notes and invoicing. It just holds all that information together and tracks it and we can move it from stage to stage with a single click. Right, what's well, interesting and what I pick up from that, it's all everything from inside of your head, what you used to do, pen and paper and everything, now it's all in there. So if you have a day off, the business and everybody else can also still run with it. I'd love a day off, and if I do have a day off, then yes, so hopefully the business run, run, runs, runs without, without me here. But it also means, because we're running shift now, that certain people that are in one day and not in another, other people can pick up their work, see what they've been working on, answer customer uh, queries, readjust quotes if needed to get that information this back out This is great as well. We'll keep going. Um, when you're running nights as well, yep. if you have that changeover, that helps from one person to another. Absolutely, because the whole business now runs on flexible hours. So when you're saying total cost of product, you're not, it's, it's, it's not cost per part that they're working on and that's not what you're fighting against there's other parts of the scenario yeah there is there's there's you know lead times traditionally are much longer from overseas um it's rejects it's quality it's all about you know that whole process of how easy is it for a buyer to buy a product from the uk from the uk 
and get what they want rather than some of the headaches they might have you know of supply abroad and, and also with the cost of transport cost of oil and gas everything else going up it's actually becoming far far more appealing now to buy in the uk um also there's something quite interesting because of course you know when we talk about mtd as a company a lot of people say you like to see what other people are doing competitors and everything be a bit nosy but it's quite interesting because you said you've changed the layout of your company machines physically to help streamline your business. What do you mean by this? Well, the less distance and operation that a part's got to go through, through a business, yeah. then, then the, 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 the more efficient it's going to be. So, whereas in our previous site, materials were kept outside in containers and things like that, we had to bring them in. They might have to go from one building to another. Mm. When we moved here, one of the real focuses was, and we worked with our entire production team on this and all the setters and, and everyone that's involved in the business, to work out where the best places were to keep materials, tools, everything we need to be, where quality needed to be in relation to things so that when, when work comes in, how do they most efficiently get that work through the shop and then back out the door again to our customer? And so we, and that's constantly developing for us and we've moved metal racks around two or three times, we've even moved machines around two or three times to try and get cells and areas dedicated to different bits of production. And has that helped, really? Like, as in, because you've moved a machine, has that, that must have, you know, for engineers and everyone, has that, how has that helped? That's kind of what I want to say. Well, it helps in a number of ways. We're quite a large shop, fatigue, we're having to run backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards yeah. if you're minding a couple of machines is one of them. Um, it means that if they're set in one machine or monitoring one machine, they, the other one's in line of sight, they can keep an eye on that one yeah. better as well. Um, if, you're, if your material is close to where you're going to machine it, then there's less manual handling involved, there's, you know, all those, all those little things. They all add up, They all add they? up to a big thing, you know. You're kind um, of perfecting your machine shop. Yeah, and it, and it never stops. You know, we, we, we constantly discuss with staff and staff come with issues or things that might be more efficient or ideas and we'll have a look at them. I can't always afford all of them. But, you know, <laughs> the, 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 whole, the whole business is about making the guys that work for us life easier. Yeah. Mark, let's go over to the Smecs now. But yeah. what really, you know, we, when I come into a business, we have a little chat, we chat upstairs, we talk about the business and why. I feel like you, I said, what do you like about engineering and machining yeah. and everything? And you said what you liked was building relationships with your customers. And for a subby, I said, why is that so important? Uh, I, th I think it's vital. I, I think that, yeah, we, we don't really have customers, we have partners. Mm. Um, when they've got issues, I want them to be able to come to us, whether or not it's new uh, products that they're looking at or whether it's uh, new products they've got or whether they've got issues with existing products with other customers that we can help them with potentially. Um, and, and again, equally well, we don't get it right 100% of the time. And it's having that ability to come back to them and say, we've got an issue with this, us to respond to that in a positive manner. Yeah. Go and sort the issues out, put plans in place so it doesn't happen again. And, and if you've got a, a relationship with a customer, it's, it doesn't become the end of the world. No, I like but, that. You know, if they're just buying from you, then it, then it can cause big problems. So that's what we like to try it's and It's a real produce. personable feel that, you know, I'm picking up. And that's what company. we try and do business on, yeah. You know what, Mark, thank you so much for kind of let us, letting us in to your business. One last question, one more to go. What do you like about your job? What do I like about my job? Uh, I enjoy finding solutions for customers. I enjoy working with our customers to find the right answer to their questions, be it that technical or in terms of capacity or whatever it is. I really enjoy that customer relationship. Yeah. And I also really enjoy it when you get a really good bit of design or really nice product and then we realize and it comes to life and you get, you get a, you know, I always try and make sure that our guys understand the quality of the products in their hand that's that talks about you so i want my machines to be proud of the work i want every job that walks out of here for me to be proud of and then i want my customers to be happy when they receive it and but that's what it's all about for me it's about relationships absolutely brilliant and i picked that up as soon as i work, walk through the door now um you're off to spain next week so after all of this i think you deserve a little bit of a lie down in the sunshine so do i it's been a long day <laughs> <laughs> thanks Mark. no problem